Hey everybody, Josie here, and uh, today I have another uh, Blu-ray review. Uh, I haven't done one of these in a while. Um, as you can see, I went to grab the. I went to Target this morning. Woke up really early before they even opened. I waited outside, and then I got me the uh, the exclusive uh, edition of Wonder Woman. As you can see, it has a little three D thing. That's pretty cool, but honestly, I didn't, I didn't even see this when I bought it. Uh, that's not the reason why I got it. Uh, why I got this version, but uh, let me just get it open for you guys and show you what's inside. Okay, so I got the plastic off of it, and now we can get a closer look. Um, so with this edition, is basically like a book edition. So this is kind of like cardboard, like you would find in like a like a hardcover book or something. And it's really nice, just because you know it's uh, it beats uh, it's better than like the standard uh, plastic. Um, so it's pretty cool. I really like this uh, this design, like the sunset cloud sort of thing it's pretty cool um and then when you open it up you got your blu-ray on one side and then on the other side you got your dvd uh but obviously the biggest draw for this version is um is this art book it has art book and like excer excerpts from the uh for the movie so you got like costumes and all this stuff and it's all it's really nice uh i like this sort of stuff you know Lots of cool stuff in here. Uh, I apologize for the bad lighting. Um, it's it's really like cloudy outside, and this the light in my room is really not doing this any justice. But I can assure you, it it looks nice, and it's a uh, it's really good quality. Um, and that's basically it. Uh, I think um, what they advertise uh with this is that it includes a uh. A bonus scene not seen in theaters so i'll watch that and see what i think of that um so that's what you get with this edition um now i will say this version is a little bit more expensive than the standard one i think the standard one is the standard one is your average uh 24.95 uh but this one is 27 uh so it's like a three bucks different um which is a shame because um some some of the uh the other like editions that uh Target has done I think have been nicer than this and have cost the same as the standard. Like if you go back and watch my uh my Logan Blu-ray review, I think that one was amazing and it just, it cost the same. So I don't know why they would uh raise the price on this, maybe just because uh, she's so popular right now and everyone everyone loves this movie and maybe they're just maybe they're trying to get like all the like feminist money or something, uh, which is a shame because I, I I feel like um, they didn't charge for the uh, for the other version, so they shouldn't really charge extra for this. Uh, but other than that, um, you know, I obviously paid for it because I obviously wanted it, so I guess I'm a sucker, right? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna pop in the Blu-ray and uh, I'll go through the bonus features like I usually do in these reviews, and then uh, I'll let you guys know what's included and whether or not it's worth the price tag. Or if you should just buy digitally or something. Uh, so just hang on and um, let me get let me uh, let me pop it in. Hang on. All right. So uh, I finished going through uh, all the various featurettes and all the bonus stuff in the uh, Blu-ray, and um, uh, I'm pretty happy with this. Um, I think it's a solid uh, purchase. You got solid amount of content on here. I think there's like more than two hours worth of stuff um um as for the advertised uh bonus scene it's just like a little extended uh uh when they're walking to uh to no man's land and just like a nice little uh moment with wonder woman and um her squad <laughs> and uh it, it's pretty nice but um again uh you can see why it was cut out it's just it's just I don't know something that's there, but not really necessary. Um, <clears throat> other than that, I think um, you get you get the uh, the making of um, and um, uh, one of the, you get the blooper reel, and um, I think uh, some of the featurettes are really interesting. Like my favorite featurette on here was um, this one where uh, it basically gives you like an insight on the training that. Um, basically the Amazons went through, like the women who played the Amazons. And they trained them so hard. Uh, basically, they had like uh, like five months pre-production. So during those five months, they were training like really, <clears throat> really hardcore. Uh, 
And it was the same team that trained like the uh, the Spartans in 300. And it, it shows, man, because when you see the movie and then you see the Amazon show up, you know, it's like this, this peak of perfection on, you know, of, uh, of, um, you know, the body, the, the, uh, the strength and, and the grace, you know, it's all, it's all there and it's all great. Um, <clears throat> and the fact that they work them out so hard and, and they're just basically just background characters. Uh, I don't know. I got to give big kudos to all those actresses just because, uh, I wouldn't work out that hard just to be a background character. <laughs> That's me personally, but these guys, they, these girls, um, they put their all in it, and you know, they really gave give you that believability um, with the Amazons that they have all that power. And I don't know. I think all the stuff in Themyscira is probably my bit, my favorite part of the movie, and I wish um, for another movie just solely on Themyscira or. Or uh, show the Amazons more, just because I th I th I really enjoyed that aspect. Um, other special features you get a uh, a lot of stuff with Patty Jenkins, where she goes through um, the process of filming like some of the iconic scenes, so like No Man's Land, for example, and then the beach battle in the beginning with in Themyscira with that. Uh, and like I said, uh, in previous um, Blu-ray reviews, I find all that stuff fascinating, just like the behind the scenes. Um, the thought process that goes into it and pretty much any problems that you might have and how you overcome them just to make, um, just to have the shot, you know, um, all that is really cool. Um, and yeah, I think this is a very solid purchase. Um, uh, like I said earlier, um, I'm a bit upset that it was a few bucks extra, you know, uh, for this edition uh but again you know no one forced me to buy this and it is something extra so and it's not a lot it's just three dollars more and i think it is worth it but i guess i'm just uh so used to having this extra stuff without uh additional cost um other than that you know this is a solid blu-ray i highly recommend it if you did watch the movie um and if you want to hear my few full review uh uh i'll put the uh the link or just check up top it, you, you could uh, click on it and uh you can see uh my uh my review on it um on the movie when it came out um and yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye uh one quick thing before i go uh, sorry about that um usually i always mention how uh i love having um uh commentary uh on my movies on my blu-rays especially uh, and I, I forgot to mention this, but this one does not come with the audio commentary, which is a shame just because, um, such a great movie and so much stuff you could, that you could talk about making this movie, especially with all the stuff with the mascara, you know, the no man's land. There's just so much information there that I, that they could have mined and uh, it would have been great to have on a, on a commentary, but unfortunately it's not there. Um, so that's always a big minus for me, but. I think they make up for it with all the, uh, the the stuff that it does that this brewery does have. So, yeah, and like that, and again, thank you guys for watching.